Hi, welcome to a God vlog. You know, uh, I'm a sucker for Christmas. Anybody who knows me knows that. I, I always have been and, and I always will be. I, I, and I don't mind um, when Christmas um, things start showing up early. I, I like it. I, I, I want it to be here all year long. And, and you know, I, I think God does too. Only not in the commercial way that stores have in mind, but in the in the genuine heartfelt change we see in the world every December, at least in our culture. And I, I'm fond of the sparkle of the lights and the richness of the smells and the joyful sounds of carols and bells, but I love, love, love the love that's in the air this time of year. In the dark of winter there is the greatest light of hope in all the loving that we do for each other. The love we do for friends and relatives for sure, but most especially in the things we do for strangers. From Merry Christmases as we pass people we don't know, to putting change in the bell ringer's bucket, to providing resources to nonprofits that help those in need. We, we do these things when we do them, we are are the Christ in Christmas. We really are. We add to the love that fills the air and overwhelms us with a sense of good, a sense of the very, very sacred and holy. Most people most people don't know that the Christmas stories about Jesus and the Bible had very modest beginnings as a small Jewish sex radical opposition to an oppressive and violent empire of man. The nativity narrative that forms the nucleus of our, our long-held Christmas traditions began as a revolution of love by Jesus followers who were boldly claiming that God worked through ordinary people, not elite emperors and and how the early Jesus followers did this was simply brilliant just simply brilliant they 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 co-opted the claims that the Roman empire made about their god Caesar turning Rome's claims on their head as claims about Christ long before the words and phrases were associated with Jesus Rome Rome claimed that Caesar was born of a virgin associated with a star the son of god lord Prince of Peace, Redeemer, and Savior of the world. Two, two outstanding modern theologians, Marcus Borg and John Dominic Crossan, note that the Jesus followers' use of such phrases from Rome and, and claims for the newborn Jesus would have been either low lampoon or high treason at the time, and that Rome was not laughing. The lofty phrases and claims that they made were reserved for elite-born emperors, not lowly-born peasant boys, and certainly not for those the empire convicted and executed like they did to Jesus. The Roman Empire, you see, sought peace on earth, the, the Pax Romana through violent oppression. And the Jesus followers claimed the opposite for its leader. Jesus, they said, and saw, and understood, and remembered, and experienced, sought peace on earth through nonviolent love and kindness. And we see that happening all during Advent, all Christmas season. And it's a tribute to those early followers of Jesus that all of the terms that Rome once gave to Caesar have forever now become terms that we and much of the rest of the world associate with Jesus, most especially in the nativity stories and at Christmas. Best of all, every year at Christmas, we prove that peace on earth through nonviolent love and kindness is not impossible because for a month we practice it on a wide scale and it works. I long for the day when we do that all year long, so bring Christmas on. And I hope your Christmas season is great this year. Merry, Merry Christmas to you all. My name is Reverend Scott Elliott. I'm the pastor at Riviera United Church of Christ. Go in peace, knowing that you're loved and that you matter much.